Good afternoon. Lovely to see you. I've just cracked 4,000 subscribers. What the heck? <laughs> I'm so pleased. Literally just one over. So uh, yeah, it's um, it's been sat at just under for a while. So anyway, um, now you might be able to see behind me, my craft room is an absolute disaster zone, let alone what's in front of me. And I thought we'd celebrate my 4,000 by tidying up this blooming mess that I'm sitting in at the moment. I'd literally got stuff everywhere. Um, I've just went to, I've been to Hobbycraft. Oh no. Well, they keep sending me money off vouchers and it's rude not to. Um, so yeah, I, I really, really need to tidy up all this mess. As I say, I'm going to give you a pan of the room because this is like real craft room, real crafter. <laughs> <laughs> it's no pretty it's all very practical but um yeah and i need to think of something as, as a giveaway for the 4k celebration so um yeah i'm chuffed to bits and it's all down to you guys thank you so much i love your comments i love i love the fact that you subscribe it doesn't cost you anything as you probably know but a lot of people do think you have to pay for a subscription you do not it is free um it just helps our channels get recognized really um and that's about all i've got to say on that matter so <laughs> i'm looking around and i'm like i don't want to do this but i know i've got to because i can't cope i can't i can't craft in this mess so <laughs> it's everywhere uh right so i shall turn the camera around and um yeah show you the mess that i'm currently looking at and uh, as i say i just can't thank you enough it's um I know some of you have been with me from the very start and uh, bless you for that. So, um, yeah, to think that 4,000 people actually tune in and watch my <laughs> watch my attempts um, is very flattering. So thank you very much and um, enough jabbering. Let's get on and tidy up this blooming craft room, Susan. I'll have to switch you around. <sighs> yeah, it's everywhere unfinished projects my two new things that I've got to put because you can see the state of my desk over there stuff everywhere it's absolutely bedlam so let's get tidy and shall we I might put you on a bit of time lapse for that because it might take a while um, I put my two um, two new things up from China yesterday so uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know if they're going to work, but we'll find out. So, are you ready? Let's get tidy in, shall we? I'm going to stop you there. I've got a lot to do. As you can probably tell, I've got bits everywhere. But I've kind of got the, um, I don't think you can see it actually, the back shelf there kind of organised at the moment. So I'm going to carry on. Um, the trouble is, it's I haven't got sort of like a proper desk, if you like. I've got a worktop on top of um, wire basket things. So it's not the most stable to say the least um but yeah this is all stuff here that i grab a lot you know my pens and my water and stuff like that so that's kind of i need that grabbable my paint brushes and stuff like that can are quite happy sat there they're fine and then the pens and that and those acrylic drawers that i moved over there i don't actually go in those an awful lot um i haven't decided what's going to go in these here I was going to replace this pen stand, but I thought, well, why? It, you know, it works. It does, it does the job. So um, let me get you a close up on that one. It's um, getting a little bit closer. But yeah, this one here, I go in this all the time with my pit pens and my white gel pens and stuff like that. But I've got a lot of stuff that needs to go. It's like you know, I've got die cuts and things like that I just you know 
yeah so i need to have a little bit of a sort out all these fabricy bits up the end here i don't know if you can see them down here yeah um they all need to go away you know back in their little cubby holes if you like and then i've got to work out somewhere to put my laptop because that's what i moved just now so um yeah i'll come back when it's all a little bit tidier um as i say i have got um the hot mess behind me let me just turn you around Ugh, my sewing table is an absolute tip so uh, i'm sorry you fell over earlier as well hopefully it won't show up too much because you were on time lapse but um i caught the wire because the phone's charging so yeah i need to tidy <laughs> i've got, got too much stuff anyway never mind um yeah i need to put my laptop somewhere so i've got the stand there it might go back behind you guys or it might go over in that corner i don't know i'll come back when uh, it's a little bit tidier okay right it's done it's tidy let me just step back a bit uh, well it's tidy as it gets <laughs> let's put it like that yes it's a very hodgepodge craft room um there is just stuff everywhere i realized i hadn't shown anybody this um, new layout because i moved into a big room now i've moved into a little one again but yeah it's kind of stacked high <laughs> i know Not too much stuff that's my recycling bag up there so yeah it's a little bit chocker that's my embellisher machine which i need to get onto again but that's where i do my sewing as you can probably see the sewing machine sat there the stuff on top is ready to be stitched so i just need to get on with that and got my bookshelf there with all my lovely arty crafty books and no i haven't vacuumed the carpet i'm about to get messy so it's not much point but yeah, so um, I'll just turn you around. Obligatory, obligatory cup of tea. Um, this stuff here is my next videos I've got to make. So um, yeah, it, it kind of does what I need it to do. So um, yeah, I've got my Sizzix set up all over here. Let me just walk you over. Yeah, so I've got all my dies. And then there's a black folder up there with all my little thin metal dies on. That's my happy mail wall. You might recognise some things there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's it really. I mean, it's not very exciting. This is what all my worktops sit on, the um, IKEA units. So, yeah, it's just random basket sort of stuff, quite frankly. It's fairly organised, but not brilliant. Uh, yeah, so I've got my laptop there. I'm trying to work out. I'm, I think I'm, I'm getting there slowly but surely. I'm trying to work out how to do the, um, kind of like film the desk and me at the same time. And I think, I don't know. I'm still working on it. Basically, I'm not going to say anything else. Um, yeah. So that's the desk set up at the minute. So, um, yeah, I've got a. Uh, the um, stuff set up here for the uh, ATC challenge I'm about to film that um, I've got some goodies I think I might do it with you in this video actually so I've got some incoming goodies um, yeah and then I've got the IKEA pegboard just balanced on the end well not balanced it's actually attached I don't know if you can see the silver things down the bottom there it's attached to the worktop but yeah so out of those um, IKEA basket things again I made a like a little woo, cubby hole thing so um yeah it, it works it's fine it's very compact it's very bijou <laughs> so um kitchen rolls on the floor underneath that desk is rammed full of stuff um yeah yeah anyway it's fine that's my hand dyed yarn or um perle cotton there yeah God, it's a tip isn't it really it really is shocking there's my banner up there Oh, that's the Roxy project. I put it in the frame. It's not very good. It needs properly framing. But yeah, there we are. Right. Um, I'll turn you around and um, I'll film these incoming goodies. Won't be long. Right. Quick show of um, some incoming goodies. I've got some stuff from Hobbycraft, which is in this giant bag, uh, which I need to move. Um, and a new to me company. Um, they're in the UK. I don't know if she ships abroad. Um, I was searching for wool felt scrap packs and this lady at Billow Fabrics came up 
oh, let me just see if you can see it is what I've written it in pencil which is really handy isn't it but below fabrics.co.uk and I bought the Essex linen scrap bag, linen scrap pack and wool felt scrap pack um, if you spend over £20 you get free postage and mine was just over £20 so I couldn't find the invoice where it actually tells you exactly what it was. I think the the linen one was about £11 and then the felt was 9 or whatever that adds up to. It was just over 20 quid. Anyway, so um, yeah, like I said, I got the Essex linen scrap pack and yeah, it's lovely. It is such nice linen. I mean, it really, really is. And I... I mean, if I buy yardage, it's for making bags and things for the shop, but for scrap projects, you know, like, I mean, I could, I would easily do uh, English paper piece in with this. It's quite thin, um, but yeah, it's just lovely. It's really nice and a good mix of colours, because that's the other thing. I don't, I'm, sure, you know, it's like choose a colour. I'll always go blues or something like that, you know. So. Um, I, I like a scrap bag so that I don't have to choose and I just get sent an assortment. But I think they're really good sizes. I mean, they're ideal for little projects. Um, yeah, I'll just whip you through this. Lovely pale blue, lovely brown, <laughs> beige, but all good colours to work on top of. If you're doing a little needlework or a little cross stitch or something, you know this stuff's perfect and again good sizes i mean that's not a small piece that one so and just two more this is the longest one which is it's just lovely it's really nice linen as well lovely and soft um yeah so that's all good i'll put that over that way and then this is the uh wool felt hold on under ears Now, she, weirdly she didn't put a business card in or anything i don't know why but now a lot of you probably go mm, but actually these are perfect sizes for me i just do little things little bits and pieces little flowers again i don't want to sit and choose the fabric so this is a wool felt you can definitely feel the wool in it um yeah so these are ideal for somebody like me <laughs> you can't make a decision to save their lives so yeah so i'm really chuffed I, i'm really pleased and as i say i've never heard of her before never shopped there before i ordered it wednesday it came thursday i was happy with that so i'm just gonna check my oh, sorry sorry i thought i heard the phone click itself off this is a lovely color that one really nice but a good mix of greens you know obviously you can see all the other colors here I didn't disturb the pile because she wrapped it so beautifully. <laughs> I thought I'll show you before I do. But yeah, I mean, these are, you know, ideal. Mossy colours, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. As I say, it really feels like nice felt. So I'm very happy with that. And as I say, free postage and first class. It literally came the next day, which I was absolutely stunned at. And that is, you know, that's as good as Amazon, that. Well, better actually sometimes, <laughs> so, you know, and it's not too thick. You know, my um, thin dyes, the um, Sizzix thin dyes will go through this no problem at all. And because the amazing Annie sent me this little owl die cut, that will go through no problem at all. So I'll make up some little owls, I think. Yeah, there we are. One more pile. And I'll show you the stuff from Hobbycraft and then I must get on because I've got a load of videos to do today. That's a nice green. I like that one. I like them all actually. There's nothing in here that I've gone ugh. That's a lovely colour. And the nice thing as well is this kind of acts as a sample pack. You know, she does do a sample card, but um, I've actually got pieces that I can use, and then I can look at the colours on her website and pick them again if I want to. So it's a bit of a bit of a crafty two for one there, really. It's nice. Yeah. So there we are. Like I say, I'm very happy with it. I'm very pleased. It's not too thick. It's nice and woolly. Doesn't smell sheepy, but I can't remember what percentage wool it was, but um, it definitely had wool in it. So, so that's those then. 
and that's my hobby craft bag not very exciting from hobby craft i'm afraid but um i'll take rattle rattle Okay, so um, I bought some of their value craft zips. They're perfectly, they're great for bags and things. So, and if you buy three packs, three packs of three, you get one free. So one of these was free. I don't know which one, but they're a nice size because I'm getting low on zips. And normally I buy them from China, full disclosure, you know, um, but I am running low on this kind of size. So I was having to use my bigger ones, which was a waste, you know. So, yeah, so I've got uh, basically nine of those. I bought some, um, uh, well, wire, plastic coated wire for my flowers to finish off my um, colour inspiration journal 3D piece. See, I remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> this was in the bargain bin. It was £5 for all these fat quarters, as you can see. And um, I used the bigger voucher on all this stuff. And then I just had a £2.50 voucher as well. So I basically got this for £2.50. And it, I just saw these colours. I love mustard and I love teal. So um, I, it was literally at the checkout. Because they did mess up my order. I did click and collect, which... You know, if I'm not ordering a lot, I do. It's only about two miles away from me, my local hobby craft, which is pretty lethal. But um, yeah, I'm not a fan of some of their stuff, but some of it's all right anyway. Um, yeah, she messed up my order, so um, they had to go and get me two more of these. And I'll tell you what they are in a minute. If I can ever get into this package, right, you're getting on my nerves. You can go away. Yeah, look, I love these. I think they're really, really nice. They're going to make some lovely bags or whatever I choose to make with them. Um, yeah, love those. So for £2.50, I've got one, two, three, four, five, five five quarters. And um, let's see, see if it's a decent thickness. It's usually not too bad, their fabric, to be fair. Uh, how do I get into that then? Oh, there we are. Yeah, it's quite a nice weight cotton, actually. Yeah, so I need to make some more of my zip front, um, uh, sorry, plastic fronted zip bags because my last one sold yesterday. So I need to get some more of those made. And um, some of the threefold project bag that I don't know what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, so that was that. Uh, this is the one they messed up. Now they were doing these for a pound. And they are drawstring bags. I mean, it's not thick. You can see it's not thick fabric at all. But I thought I might have a go at gel printing on them. I thought that could be quite fun. They're really big as well. But I say they were just a pound each. Um, oh, excuse me. I ordered five. And luckily, as I got out of the store, I thought, it just doesn't, I'm going to have a quick check. And luckily I did because there was only um, three in there. They'd missed two. So, yeah, I bought five of these just to just to play around with, really. Um, and I thought, well, do you know what? Oh, great. Um, because they're only a pound each, um, even if they don't gel print very nice, I can use the fabric for something else, you know, because there's quite a lot of yardage there, to believe it or not. So, yeah, so those were a pound each. And, oh, and I bought some soft cut lino. This was the same price as the smaller sheets, and I thought, well, that's a no-brainer. So, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really getting into and enjoying my lino cutting. So, um, and the girl that taught me, Louise Nichols, I, I can't remember if I put it on the last video when I spoke about her. Um, she's um, starting up YouTube, so I thought, All right, <laughs> All right, I'm getting in there. So I've got some... Um, yeah, that's the wrong side. This is the right side. But I mean, I can easily cut that into four because the one that I've got at the moment is the really thick, heavy one. Oh, God, it really killed my wrists. So, um, yeah, so I got um, SD is the people that you can get the carving tools from. 
but um, Carrie at Carrie's Mixed Media. I don't know if I told you actually. Sorry if I did, if I'm just going over old stuff. I don't know where they are. There they are. Um, she told me, or she was using this set of carving tools, so I splashed out and got them. Um, they were quite expensive, but I thought, well, do you know what? I really like doing this, so if I don't spoil myself, nobody else will. Um, yeah, so I've got those, so there we are. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah, I'll wrap the video up. So it's a bit of a thank you for the 4K for subscribers. Um, again, I'll reiterate, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to YouTube, okay? I never ask you for money. If I'm selling something, it will go on Kofi. Um, so I will never ask you for money or anything like that because I know a couple of YouTubers have had that problem with some of their subscribers being asked to donate money. No, not me. Um, yeah, so it doesn't cost you anything and it just helps us out. And and do the old thumbs up thing. Again, it doesn't cost you anything, but it just tells YouTube that, you know, you're liking what I'm putting out and it just alerts other people to it. So um, anyway, oh, this is going to be weird to play with this one. It's very odd. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you again soon. And thank you once again. Um, there will be a giveaway, but I'm not going to announce it. So you that watch me all the time will know. But uh, scammers get involved otherwise. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.